Bob Finn goes to Europe every year to pick out wines for his family's liquor store in Hamden, Connecticut. Mount Carmel Wine and Spirits started off as a general store in 1913. The liquor corner eventually took over. He and his brother Ben kept the family business going. It was easy to, to grow into it when it's doing something that you love and we love the whole wine world. But the wine world could see some changes. Governor Dan Malloy suggested letting owners set their prices closer to wholesale and own a maximum of six instead of three stores. They would also be allowed to extend their hours to 10 p.m. Monday through Saturday and to 8 p.m. on Sundays. Governor Malloy has stated that his proposed changes will help promote competition and make wines like this more affordable for customers. What I'm trying to do is affect the, the consumer uh, and lower the cost of alcohol uh, so that we're in line with Rhode Island, Massachusetts, and New York. Right now we're paying about $7 more uh, for spirits than they are in those states, and I think it's terribly unfair to the consumer. And some buyers wouldn't mind the changes. I think having the lower prices would be beneficial to everybody, but I don't think they need to be staying open later. Truthfully, I'm from New York and they are open later yeah. in New York. Um, doesn't seem like a problem. Finn has not changed the store's hours because he doesn't think it would bring in more customers. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. If you can't buy what you need by 9 o'clock in the evening, then what's the point? He says Malloy's proposal will let larger companies outprice smaller stores and run them out of business. Finn has a message for the governor. Pick on another industry. Make heating oil cheaper for people who have a hard time heating their homes. Why pick on this industry? I don't get it. Meliana Ferraro, Q30 News.